Hey guys, how's it going? It is Aaron again. I am out in the garage bringing you another tool of the week. If you guys have been working on a project or researching how to do a project and you've come across somebody saying, well, just apply power to it and then you can test it and see if it works. I'd heard that several times before, but I didn't know how to do that. And to tell you the truth, a couple weeks ago, I Googled it and I still couldn't figure it out. All of my Google searches were turning up things like uh, outside lighting, how to run low voltage lighting, and other things like that, but not what I needed to know how to do. So I finally figured it out, and there's a really cool tool that allows you to do exactly what I was wanting to do. It is called the Power Probe. So I discovered that not only can it apply the 12 volts of power that I needed, but it can do lots of other things, so I thought I'd put a quick video together to show you the usefulness of this tool. It comes in several different kits, but this is the kit that I went with. It is the PP. 319 FTCW, at least that's how they list it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. It's actually on sale today for 20% off. So I'm just gonna jump right in and show you how to use the main power probe part, and then we can talk about some of the other accessories and things it can do. It comes with the main tip right here. You just press this into the top of the power probe and it has a little plastic protective cap you can remove. So there's a big long 20 foot standard lead that comes attached to your power probe. And at the end is a super handy connector like this with the positive and negative marked. Now there are a couple ways you can hook this up. You can either use a cigarette lighter adapter and plug it directly into the cigarette lighter in your car to power it, or you can use the battery hookup clips, or as a lot of people call them, alligator clips. So for my testing, I'm gonna use the alligator clips. They just plug right into here. So when I think of applying 12 volts, I always thought that you had to hook it up to the battery in your car and run wires all the way over somewhere. Well, it turns out that is probably the most likely use of this. But what I had never really thought of is that you could use an external battery strictly for your testing. So I went to Walmart, picked this thing up for like 20 bucks. It normally goes into a lawnmower, so it's much cheaper than a car battery, but it is still a 12 volt battery. And I can just leave it here to test anything on my workbench. I'll point out that this is the Power Probe 3. I think they released a 4 recently, or I don't know how recently, but there does exist a 4. So to use this tool, it does have to be hooked up to a power source somewhere. But this thing is truly foolproof. So this is the negative terminal of our battery here. So let's say you don't know what in the world you're doing and you just connect this to a battery. Nothing is going to power up, but it's also not going to hurt it. So when we do it correctly and we hook it up to our battery, you will hear it turn on and there are bright LED headlights on it. So when you are working in dark spaces, it will illuminate them for you. So by default, when you turn this on, it is a negative or positive tester. So you can touch it on a negative lead like here and you will see that minus light up and you'll hear that annoying beep or you can put it on a positive and it will detect that that was a positive and you'll note that it also reads the voltage. So it's reading 12.9 volts. Now that sound is really annoying and you're gonna wanna do what I did. The first thing I learned about the menus is you just tap this button one time and that little uh, speaker icon will go off. And now you can test it. You'll still get the lights and everything, but no more annoying beep. Now the default setting for this switch here, this is like a rocker switch. It goes up and down and automatically recenters itself. So it will allow you to apply positive voltage by pressing up. You can see up has the pluses. So if you hold this in, it is currently applying at the tip of that the 12.9 volts from this battery. And if you press and hold down, it is actually applying ground. So you can touch this anywhere on a circuit and give it ground. And a great safety feature on this to protect the tool itself so you don't damage it, there's a little built-in circuit breaker right here. So if you do something that you shouldn't do and you apply positive voltage to a ground, you saw that little spark and now it says C8 and nothing works anymore until you push this little thing back in and it is back on and working again. Now, if you apply positive voltage to where there is already a positive voltage, of course, nothing's going to happen. But using this thing to power and test a circuit is definitely the reason that I bought it. Now, on the bottom of this, you will see that there is a little black pigtail here. And this is a little grounding clip. This is always providing ground. So if I were to take 
the power probe and touch our clip, it is gonna show us that it is ground. So the last project that I tackled on my Boxster was adding heated seats. Now to do that, I had to take four relays and solder them all together to create a latching switch. And I really wanted to test that before putting it into the car and installing everything and making it really difficult to redo if I messed something up. Turns out we discovered that there was something wrong with the wiring that I had to change. So it was awesome to be able to do it on my kitchen counter instead of inside a car. So I'm gonna show you a clip from that video with the power probe in use. All right guys, here is the power probe. I'm gonna go ahead and test this now. Right here you can see on the pigtail, I have those two uh, wires going to the ground here and I also have the probe of my uh, voltmeter uh, plugged into it as well. So I'm gonna apply power to this right now with this cool little tool. So when I do, so it has power going to this now and I get the red light on here. Now it's really bright inside, so I don't know if you can see, but, but when I apply power and let go of power, the little light on the seat is actually turning on and off like it should. So that's good. And when power is applied at first and I test our output, I get nothing. So there would be no power going to the heated seat. So if I go over to our button and I press our button, I could actually hear the relays doing something. So that's a good sign. And if I touch it here now, there is 12 volts going to the wire, as you can see from the tool. So not only can it help you test relays like that, but it can test any component in your circuit. So to make sure that I understood the connectors on the bottom of the heated seat, I also used the power probe to apply power to the pins and make sure that I had the positive and negative correct and that it would heat the seat as expected. And I just tested the other two and I did confirm that they are for the heated seat. I did that by using the power probe here. I have it connected to a battery and I just take its negative terminal and I can clip it right to that ground tab. And then with the power probe, I can press up to apply positive. So I'm applying 12 volts to this pin and I held it here for a couple of minutes and I could feel on the seats by just touching the seats over here. So I can just tell by feeling the inside of the bolster here and the bolster here that it was getting heat and the seats were heating up and working as expected. So if you maintain and repair vehicles, this is definitely something to add to your toolbox. This gives you the ability to apply power directly to the wiring to see if the segments of your circuit are working as expected. You can test fans, motors, etc., while they are still in your car without having to remove them. And it is a great way to test your solders and crimps before buttoning everything back up. So I'm just gonna take a second and go over everything that came in this kit that I got. This is the 20 foot extension. So you can add it to this and get up to 80 feet. That makes it really helpful in testing trucks or vehicles that have trailers on them. So you can actually connect to the battery and get all the way around to the back. I mentioned the cigarette lighter adapter. So this can plug right into the cigarette lighter in your car. So you don't have to worry about accessing the battery if that's more convenient. Really nice if you're working in the cabin of the car. Now behind this panel, there are a couple more accessories, just some male and female adapters that can help you get the proper configuration if you're uh, doing something out of the ordinary. And this is the piercing probe set, which is really cool. It's two self-centering probes and they're both different sizes. One of these is for thicker wires and the other one is for thinner wires. So what you do is you put the wire up there and the bottom has a little handle that you turn and as you turn it, it presses the wire up against that little V notch to center your wire. And once it hits and stops, you continue turning and let me see if I can show you this. You can't really see it here, but once you keep tightening it, there is a little inside that sleeve, there is a sharp little probe that goes all the way in and it will pierce your wire. So you hook this up to the top of this instead of this lead. 
So when you apply the 12 volts, it goes through the sheathing of the wire directly into the wire because this is meant to pierce the wire sheathing. And this attaches to those other adapters for your negative lead here. And apparently it has a CD with some instruction manuals and training videos if any of you still have a CD player. Oh, and a sticker. Time to add this to the cabinet. So some of the other functionality that this thing can provide is it can be a continuity tester. It has a multimeter built in. It can work on anything from 12 to 24 volt sources. And it also actually provides audible monitoring is what Power Probe calls it. The probe can actually detect signals and it transmits those signals to its speaker so you can hear them. So if you are testing audio equipment, touch it to a source that's supposed to be providing an audio signal to a speaker, it'll allow you to test that to make sure that it's working. So I've still got a lot to learn about all of the things that this can do, but most importantly, I now know how to apply 12 volts to test my circuits and the components in those circuits. So as always, thanks a lot for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful. Check out some of the other tool of the weeks on this channel and I'll see you guys next time.